Hey, you all, I wanted to share something with you really quick that the Lord revealed to me. Um, for those of you who have been trying to go through a certain door and you know what that door is, some of you have been trying to access something. You've been trying to access a certain opportunity. You've been trying to access something, whether that be funds, money. You've been trying to access a certain job. There's just, there's something you've been trying to access. There's a certain door you've been trying to go through and it's like a block there. Like every time you try to open this door, you've just been hitting a wall. Like you, it's, it's nothing. It's almost like it's bolted shut. There is something you have been trying to access. There's an open door you've been trying to get through and it has just been bolted shut. And there's a reason for that. One of many is that it's just not the right time because one thing that I've learned and I've understood in my years of walking with the Lord and my my process of maturing with the Lord is that it doesn't really matter how hard you try to get something that you you believe you're ready for. The Lord is not going to give it to you and he's not going to allow you to have access to it until you're ready for it. And if he does allow you to have access to it before you're ready for it, it's a judgment. It's not a blessing because he understands what it's going to do to you if you're not mature enough to actually receive it. But there's some of you who have been trying to get through a door and it is like it's bolted shut. And one of the reasons why is because it's not, it hasn't been the right time. But the Lord revealed to me is that he's getting ready to open some doors. He's getting ready to open some doors that aren't just like locked, that aren't just like random doors, but these are doors that you've been trying to open and get through for a while. And the enemy will not have the ability to come and devour it this time. The enemy will not have the ability to block it this time. And there are those of you who will say, well, what the Lord has for me is for me. When the Lord opens a door, it's mine. It cannot be shut. The enemy can't shut it. But some instances that can happen and it's through legalities. It's a lot of times we can give the enemy legal access to come and devour the things that God gives us. And that is through sin. We can, we can give the enemy a sin offering and through sin, the enemy can come in and devour what it is the Lord has for us. And there are some people who will say, well, you know, like, you know, the Lord died for our sins. Yes, he died for your sins so that you don't go to hell. He holds the key to death in the grave. That doesn't mean that you don't have to reap the consequences of your sins. That doesn't mean that the seeds that are coming to harvest that you planted in the kingdom of darkness, you're exempt from reaping the consequences of that, those seeds. That's not what it means. Otherwise, everything would be perfect here on earth. But people we see every day are reaping the seeds of the harvest the seeds of the stone, they're reaping the harvest of the seeds of their stone in the kingdom of darkness. We see this happening on a daily basis. Um, and this that kind of plays into the question where people say, <coughs> sorry, like people say, why does God allow bad things to happen, you know, to people and things like that? It's not necessarily God just uh, allowing it to happen, but it's more so the seeds are coming to harvest that they have planted. Um, but Jesus died on the cross for your sins so that you can be saved from eternal damnation after you die. That's a whole other message. But the Lord had revealed to me that this time the enemy cannot shut these doors. This time the enemy cannot come to take what it is the Lord is giving you. He's opening some doors again for you. And these are do doors that was pretty much bolted shut. So look out for it because this time the devourer will not take it. This is why I've been very intentional about telling you all to sow seeds. I just did a message on the differences between sowing, tithing, and giving. This is why it's important to be intentional about sowing because it's really important that you understand that even though you can sow seeds in the kingdom of darkness, because there are things that, you know, before you became to a certain level of maturity in Christ, you were a worldly being, right? It's, it's all of us who were in the world before Jesus saved us, right? Before we allowed him to come into us and renew us in our mind, right? Allow us to make us new and transform us by the renewing of our mind before we reach that point in our life, before we actually allowed God to do that for us, we were in the world. And anyone who was in the world and living worldly, they're constantly sowing seeds in the kingdom of darkness. And they're constantly living in the consequences of those seeds coming to harvest. This is why bad things happen to people who are in the world. But when you come into the kingdom of God, you're sowing seeds, especially if you're intentionally sowing seeds in the kingdom of God, those seeds are coming to harvest. And when you sow seeds in the kingdom of God, there is no, especially if you're sowing more seeds in the kingdom than you have in the, the kingdom of darkness, right? Than you have in the world. There is no devourer that can come and take those. There is nothing the enemy can do because you have been intentionally 
through obedience, sowing seeds in the kingdom of God. So I wanted to share that word with you all the Lord revealed to me today that there are certain doors that you all have been trying to access. And the Lord is saying that they're no longer bolted shut. You're going to go knock on that door. You're going to ax. You're going to seek. And the door will be open. So I love you all. I want to share that with you. I'm so excited for the Lord is doing all of you all's lives. Again, make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and there's plenty of resources for you in the description below. Confirm this in the comments and come back and share your testimony. I love reading the testimonies of those of you who the Lord had, uh, confirms this to you all. And those of you who the Lord um, does these things for, I love reading the testimonies in the comments. It just, it really just lights up my day. So I will talk with you in the next message.